right, let's get started. Warm up next. Switch. Arm circles. Backwards. Hugs. Side to side. Hips. Switch. All right, knees slightly bent. Drop down. Hang. Good. Rock back and forth, side to side. Feet wider. Break at the knees side to side. One toe up. Good, now walk your hands out. Hips down, you can kind of rotate side to side. Work out your hips. Feels a lot better today than yesterday. Stretch, get on your middle, left leg, right leg, wherever you feel like you need to stretch it out. Walk back forward. That's ego, bro. Hips down. Huh. That's ego, bro. I got a little bit of that still. Back. I'm training exclusively. You should be happy with it. What's that? So you train me exclusively. You should be happy with that. And back. And we'll plot a position. Stretch out over your knee. Switch. So I've had something going on with that knee. I felt it up. Uh, I've been feeling it a little bit. Oh, you really just lived in her training. Yeah, you know, I felt it on a knee cut just like a month ago in her training. And I was like, ooh. Switch. I need to take care of that. Yeah. I'm still trying not to believe that the, you can finish me without control of my leg. Switch. So we gotta figure out what exactly is going on in that position. Oh yeah, it's 50 50. That's like the only time I've gotten caught uh, by students uh, is in that 50 50 position. It's been a long time. Switch. 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 Go ahead, grab your hammies, rock back and forth. Keep that rocking chair. Bend in your back. Good, rock back a little more on the neck now. Get a little stretch in the neck. 
Now both feet over your shoulders, over one shoulder, sorry, push off. Roll over your other shoulder. Again, focus on that rocking chair motion. Good, now we're gonna go back and hold and forward and straddle, right? Let's go. Forward, straddle. Back and hold. Forward and straddle. Back and hold. Forward and straddle. Good. All right, let's shrimp. Sliding shrimp. Hips off the floor, top shoulder passes, bottom shoulder. Good, reverse shrimp. Sliding shrimp. Reverse shrimp. Good, power shrimp. Reverse shrimp. Power shrimp. Reverse shrimp. Good, shrimp and pummel. Good, up, one hand walks forward. Butt scoots forward. Shrimp and pummel. Other hand scoots forward. Good, pummel with the legs. Switch. Scissor. Good, bump, we're gonna bump up onto the shoulder, tuck our elbow, turn, sit, bump up to the other shoulder, tuck our elbow, turn, sit, bump, tuck the elbow, turn, sit, Bump, tuck the elbow, turn, and sit. Now we're gonna do a bump and roll escape. Right arm trap, right leg traps. Head pendulums left. I'm bumping up, over, onto my knees. 
Left arm tracks, left leg traps. Pendulum right. Bumping up, over. Onto my knees. Right, right, head, left. Bumping up and over. Onto my knees. Left, left, head, right. Bumping up and over. Onto my knees. Now arm bar escape. We're bridging up into our head on this one. Right arm goes. I'm gonna bridge up onto my head and walk over my left shoulder. Here, left shoulder. Left arm goes, I'm bridging up onto my head, walking over my right shoulder. Right arm, left shoulder. Left arm, right shoulder. Good. Lay down. Hands here, side control. I power bump up, <laughs> I get my underhook. I bump again to free my head. I switch my feet. I come up to that single leg. Okay, now we're gonna go right into the sit through. I'm gonna circle my head around, post my leg, sit, and turn. Power bump the other way. I'm bumping. I get my underhook. I bump to free the head. I switch my feet. I'm up on the single leg. Okay, head goes out, foot comes up. I sit through. Again, power, underhook, bump, free the head, switch my feet. Leg comes up, head goes out, sit through. Power, underhook, bump up, free my head, switch my feet, head comes out, leg comes up, I sit through. Standing in base, and here, up, up. Up, now to the knee. Up, 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 now switch sides. Up, 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 now to the knee. Up, 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 good job. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna work on our uh, sit out. Turtle position, here. I'm stepping up with my right leg, throwing my right arm behind, sliding my left under, pushing off my right leg and turning. And switch to the other leg. Other leg. Good. Now for the hands and knees. Right leg post, left hip slides. Good turn. Left leg post, right hip slides. Good turn. Right, left, all fours, sit, turn, sit, turn, sit, turn, sit, turn, and sit, 
Turn. Good job. All right. Moving on. We're going to roll over our right shoulder. Left foot goes to the floor. Other leg comes through. Getting back to that guard position. Left shoulder, right foot comes to the floor. Leg is through. Right, left, through, left, right, and through. Good. Now, assuming our opponent has a uh, head and arm, right? And we can't hit our sit throughs. Okay, we're gonna pull guard. So I'm here, I'm defending the choke as always. Okay, his arm is across the side of my neck. So I'm gonna step out with my left foot. I'm gonna drag my head across the floor to my knee and sit back into my guard. My microphone's not working. Good. All right. Um, you remember that one on a live opponent looks like this. He has my head here. Okay. I'm stepping up. If I need to, I'm changing the angle a little bit. Right. I'm gonna bring my head down to the floor, back to my knee until my head pops out. All right, good. Next one we're gonna do is the roll, okay? This is for when he doesn't really have the seatbelt grip and it's especially effective if he hasn't locked his hands yet at all, all right? So I'm just gonna roll over my shoulder like this. Hips up, I'm gonna go from my right shoulder to my left shoulder. My head sits between my legs and I end up back in guard. So if Josh is on my side here, this is what it looks like. He's on my side, he doesn't have his hands connected. Okay, I'm gonna post the leg that's far from him. I'm gonna roll on the shoulder that's close to him. My hips need to come up into his armpit. Here, I roll from shoulder to shoulder. And now I'm back into a position where I can use my legs for effective leverage. Okay, so try that on your own. Here's how it looks on your own. Step, one leg, shoulder roll, opposite leg. From my right shoulder to my left shoulder, and down. Got it? Let's give it a shot. That big Nick, how's it going, buddy? There you go. Good, have you good? Good, good. Nick, have you watched any of the other solo drill videos? No, that's my first one. Okay, try. I got the classes, all of them posted on YouTube. Okay. Some of the movements that we go through, we've already covered in a lot of detail. So watch those, um, it'll really help you as we move through the, the stuff at the beginning of class. It'll help you visualize what that technique is for. Okay, perfect.
All right, let's move on to our butt scoots. Okay, this technique again is for managing distance, right? I'm either closing distance on my opponent from the bottom or I'm moving away from them if they're closing fast or maybe they got uncomfortable grips that I don't like, right? First is just side to side. My hips are coming off the floor and I'm moving side to side, okay? When I come forward, it's the same thing. My hips are coming off, I'm pulling with my heels. I go back, I'm pushing with my heels. My hand posts, my hips come off the floor. I can go fast and I can slow it down. Okay, so I want you to do that, alternate hands, and then always come forward with either one hand or the alternating hand technique, but then mix in going backwards with two hands, all right? So if I'm stuck down and Josh is up, if he's kind of, if he's being aggressive here and I don't like it, I may just wanna move back out of range, okay? Or if he's a little far away from me, I may wanna close, and try to get my grip so I can start my attacks. Okay, so think of it as you're doing it in those terms. Let's go, Zs. All right, good. So um, a few minutes ago, we worked on that shoulder roll from when somebody's on my side in turtle. Now this time, if Josh has got a tighter body lock on me, I'm gonna have to hit a Gramby roll. This is for me to get a little more space and uh, maybe face him, okay? So Josh is locked a little tighter around my body, all right? I wanna post up like this, and I immediately want to take this leg so he doesn't hook it and break me down and take my back and cross it over my other leg. Now from here, I'm just hitting a shoulder roll to try to face him. Okay, so when I'm doing it alone, it looks like this. I'm up. If he is on this side of me, this leg is going to cross over. Right? He's on my left side. My left leg is going to cross over. Okay, so I'm here. My leg crosses and I tuck my chin, hit a shoulder roll and come up. Okay, the other way, my left leg crosses, I roll over my left shoulder and come up and face. Give it a shot. If you're on a hard surface, be very, very careful.
Good. All right. Now we're going to do the forward roll variation of that. Okay. So this is for when somebody's behind us. They've got us gripped up in a body lock. Look, most people here are going to hold on tight. Okay. If he lets go as I roll, I may end up rolling through his legs and he's still standing. That's fine, particularly for our advanced practitioners. Okay. Notice that his leg is between my legs. That's where I want it. I want one of his legs between my legs. Okay. So if I roll and my opponent lets go as I roll, right, I'm going to hit here and I'm going to end up in this position. It's still going to give me the ability to start attacking his legs. If you don't know leg attacks yet, don't worry. It'll come eventually. Okay. Now, most people in this position are going to hold on to you because they're wanting to try to take you down. So they're going to have a tighter grip. So as I roll through, right, he's generally going to come with me. And at this point, I can either start my leg attacks or I can come up, do that knee stand and base that we did and work into my guard pass. All right. So when you're doing it on your own, you're going to reach kind of across. Okay, use this hand for support so you don't fall directly on your head and roll kind of over your a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of neck. Like that. All right. Let's give it a shot. Don't let your foot go through your TV. And sorry, I'm trying not to slack, but my brain can only take so much rolling right now. I understand. You all right, Nils? You're all right, just shoulders kind of acting weird. Okay. All right, we're good, because we're done with shoulder rolls. All right, so we're gonna work on that inside sit-up, okay? This is designed as more, I'm sorry, inside stand up. Okay, this is designed like, you know, we gave options to roll to guard, we gave options to like Granby roll out of the, um, you know, turtle position. Um, this, is, this is more if you're very comfortable standing up and on your feet, more comfortable than you are on the bottom, and you want to get back up to your feet. All right, so if Josh has me, body lock from behind, okay? He's favoring my right side. So I wanna lift my right leg up. If I lift my left leg up, he can swing in and hook this leg and start to take my back, okay? So I wanna lift my inside leg up, connect my elbow to my hips. Now I'm gonna stand up all the way. If his hands are connected, I need to start disconnecting them, okay? but I'm gonna keep walking forward, right? And guarding so he doesn't jump back my back with his hooks until I get one of his hands in my back pocket, then I turn and face, All right? So solo, it looks like this. He's on my right side, standing, elbow in. I stand, I break the grip with the hands, I protect my legs from his legs hooking in. I put his hand behind my back in my back pocket and I turn and face, okay? They're on the left side, it's just the opposite. Left leg comes up, right, I'm here. I break the hands, I stuff the hand in my back pocket, and I turn and face. All right, let's do it. Ling? Yeah. I have a question. Yes. Um, so if either a scenario A, he doesn't, you can't free his hands because he has a really strong grip, or scenario B, 
how do you prevent him from just slamming you? Yeah, well, so there's a couple things you're gonna do. If they're really strong and they lift you up, it's very, you know, uh, sometimes it can be very difficult to stop, okay? Um, so a couple things. One, you can always roll to that leg attack that you want. Two, if I feel him starting to lift me, right? So Josh is behind me and I feel him starting to lift me, I'm immediately gonna start hooking his leg just to help ground me. And then I'm gonna continue to fight the hands and turn and face. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, thank you. Cool. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, so now we have the turtle position and he has the seat belt grip on, which means one arm is under my armpit, his forearm, and the closer arm is over my neck. All right, so come here, Josh. So from here, uh, come around to the side just a little bit more. If he's a little more on my side, okay? I can just bring my inside knee up. I know it's hard to see. We got the same color knees on. But I'm bringing my inside knee up and I'm sliding through, right? To get to guard. If I feel like I need more space, I'm gonna take my knee and put it on his upper thigh hip area and create some separation here and then set through into my guard. Right, so it's like a dog. Uh, go ahead and let go. So solo, my knee comes up. Right, I sit through, or the second variation, where I'm pushing into the hips. It's going to be a little more like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant kind of motion, where my leg is all the way up to the side. Right, I'm pushing. Obviously, I don't have his hip there to keep me up. Normally my toes wouldn't touch the ground, but to mimic that solo, I have to put my toe to the ground to lift my hip up and sit to my guard. All right, let's play around with that. All right, good. Now, similar thing, just a slight variation. 
So if he's a little tighter to me here, with the seatbelt grip on, okay? I just need to windshield wipe my feet first. You see how my feet are coming out to the side? Then I can put my knee on that hip area, and now I have the space to sit through, okay? So same technique, I'm just bringing my feet out and away to get a little more distance, all right? Give it a shot. All right, final variation from that um, seatbelt position. Okay, again, um, Nick, since this is your first time doing this, if you go back, I have every movement that we've done today, even way back to the beginning, broken down in detail. Uh, some of this, this is review for most people. We'll get to the new stuff in a little bit. So we're here, he's got a seatbelt on, and he's super tight to me. I can't sit to my guard, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook his wrist at my elbow. I'm not reaching back to hook his elbow. I'm hooking the wrist. Okay, I'm gonna windshield wipe my feet in the same way that I did earlier. I'm gonna bring my elbow down to where like the middle of my chest is, shooting for my far shoulder. And roll him over so I'm on top, all right? Look, if I just drop my elbow where it is, I'm not gonna have the leverage to roll him over. I have to move my feet away and I have to bring my elbow across my body and post it on the floor and then roll. Okay, so I'm bringing that elbow across my body, getting that fulcrum closer to his center of gravity. All right, let's go. Good. <laughs> Rolled the wrong way there, Austin. Yep. Yes, good. Long way. Good, all right, we're gonna move on. Um, 
if you need to go back and rewatch any of the classes, you know, make sure that you do, okay? Once we're through like the next week or two, um, we'll probably start the series all over and go through the things in a little more detail. Uh, but, you know, for now, if you need to, to reference it, go back to the class. All right, so now we're standing up when somebody has a closed guard around us, okay? The first thing I wanna do is I need to get my posture right. Now I can either control the hips or I can control the armpits, okay? It's really up to you, it's personal preference. Usually I'll try to control the hips if they keep kind of breaking me down, right? I'll, then I'll go to the armpits, okay? However, the upper body or the lower body stuff doesn't change. If I'm gonna step with my left leg first, I'm shifting my hips right to lighten this leg. If he had his, gu his guard closed, he can't sweep us side to side. So I'm not as worried about shifting my hips. I never shift my hips when his guard opens because then he scissor sweeps me side to side. When his guard's closed, he's pulling me forward and backwards. So that's what I'm mostly concerned about. So I'm gonna shift my hips to the right with my left leg. Okay, now this is very important. I'm gonna slide this leg out to a lunging position and come straight up and then turn and face with my shoulders at my hips or behind my hips, okay? So the reason that I do it that way precisely, go lay down, Josh. Is if I don't shift my weight to the right to take my weight off the left leg, that means I'm gonna to have to lean forward to take my weight off the left leg. As soon as I lean forward, especially if we've got geese on, he grabs my gi and I go to step and I end up like this. Okay, this time grab my gi, Josh. If I just lean to the right and he goes to pull, pull, right? He can't budge me, okay? Now, same thing here. If I lean forward to take my weight off and lift this leg up, he's gonna pull, my hands are gonna to go to the floor. Now my hands are all tied up and I'm in trouble. So I windshield wipe, pull as I windshield wipe, pull as I stand, and I stand, right? And I can stay, if he's got my gi, I just stand up with him. I put my knees under his butt, okay? But we're gonna pretend he doesn't have the gi for the purposes of this drill, right? So when I get here, my hips are here. The next thing he's gonna do, he's gonna grab my feet, he's gonna pinch his knees together and try to sweep me back. So I'm gonna kick out and away. I'm kicking toward his head to break his grip and away, okay? Uh, turn your face this way. Another thing I can do once I stand up, if he goes for that sweep and I step, I pivot, I'm up. Another thing I can do when I feel him go for the sweep is I can go matrix, right? Then I can deal with his legs. Two more to pass. So when you're solo, it looks like this. Hips, up, lunge, up, straight back, right? From here, I'm kicking, back, kicking, back. If I don't like that option, I go matrix. The arms are mandatory, not just me being silly. Come here. The arms are very important, lay down. We're here and he's going for this sweep and I push my hips forward, right? He still has his feet in my armpits. Okay, people are gonna straighten their legs out here and try to keep you from getting your legs behind. So he's not gonna let me reach. Straighten your legs out a little bit. Right, he's gonna be there, okay? So when I go forward, I need to clear one arm at a time. One, two, now I can pass. All right, so play around with it. Stand, kick, kick, matrix, matrix. Footwork drills for passing the guard. 
dance in motion stuff and wrestling. Then we got a sprawling circle. Just still feel like a lot of the paint where I don't have to explain some of these moves that we did later in the series, you know? So we could just go through the movement pattern and get it. Hey, Lane. Yeah. yeah. When you do that matrix swing, are you also pivoting your body as well on top of? Yeah, I'm swing not pivot, I'm, yes, I'm rotating my body. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like, I imagine Nils drunk dancing at a wedding. And I think that's the way it would look. I'm drunk dancing right now. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's do, uh, we worked on the Toriando pass the other day, okay? It's step at a 45 degree angle, pivot, shoulder step, all right? So when I'm doing it on a live opponent, so he's sitting in his guard, okay? I'm controlling the knees, right? I'm gonna step out at a 45, and then I'm going to turn my body. As I turn my body, my inside arm is going to push his legs this way. Okay. My inside knee comes in and I step to the shoulder. All right. So we kind of do a steering wheel motion with his legs. Here, pivot, shoulder step, knee on belly. Okay. If you don't have a dummy or a partner, just do the step step. So if you're here, right. My hands are coming, I'm stepping to my right at a 45 degree angle, pivoting. Shoulder step, right, knee on belly. If I go to my left, it's the opposite. 45 degree angle left, shoulder step. Step, step, knee on belly. Let's give it a shot. He looks like 10 years younger with this new hairdo. <laughs> I think he's glad he's not doing the bronze to get him off his thing. Yeah. I think you could go convince those bronze to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I know, they're trying real hard because they don't want me to call the police. <laughs> All right. So the next one is the step, the question mark step. Okay, I can use this if he's laying flat on his back or if he's sitting up. 
right? So I'm gonna sidestep. I can put my hand on my shoulder if I want to, okay? Or my hand on his shoulder if I want. Okay, but I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna step around. Okay, so it looks like this. Uh, move, Josh. So I'm sidestepping just laterally this time, not forward. Question mark. Knee on belly. Sidestep. Question mark. Knee on belly. Good. Good. All right, now we're just gonna work on uh, wrestling stances and our motion with that. If you want more of the wrestling stuff, make sure you attend Armando's wrestling classes, the virtual classes. Um, you know, they're really good and focused on this stuff. But just working on our defensive stance, which is our parallel feet stance. Okay, nice and low, right? And then our staggered stance is usually going to be a little more of an offensive stance. Okay, we're looking to set up shots and go from there. In my staggered stance, my lead hand is low, protecting this leg. He needs to get to this leg to be able to take me down. My rear hand is what I'm reaching with to grab the head, the lapel, whatever else. Okay, so I'm reaching rear hand and I'm moving. I can switch my stance. So now my right leg's forward, my right hand comes down, I reach with my back, okay? I go to my defensive stance, right? Now I'm staggered stance, reach, staggered stance, reach, defensive stance, stagger stance, stagger stance, okay? Defensive stance, all right? Today we're gonna add um, like a down block, okay? So sometimes I don't have to fully sprawl, Right? I don't want to sprawl and then him be faking a shot and leaving myself vulnerable. So I don't want to fall all the way down and have him get on top. I don't every time want to go like full sprawl and then look up and he didn't shoot. He's locking me up in the head and arm. Okay, so I'm going to take my lead leg and lead hand sometimes and just touch the ground and lift that leg up. Get it out of the way. Okay? Lift the leg up. Lift the leg up. Lift that leg up. All right? So mix that in.
Good. If your lead leg <clears throat> goes back, the lead hand goes down. Okay. It's not lead leg comes back, opposite hand goes down. Lead leg comes back, lead hand goes down. Training with that mask on today. All right, time. Okay, so today's the first day I didn't get through everything I wanted to, but that's okay. Um, I felt like some of those moves we recently learned, it's good to go back and kind of look at the positions instead of just doing the drills again. But uh, we'll get on with the rest of uh, the stuff next week. All right? Cool. Anybody uh, have any questions? No? No. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you, Lane. Thank See you. Bye. Bye.